In this video, we are going to learn about limit calculator tricks or hacks or technique anywhere you want to use. And after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving limit calculator trick or hack. So ensure you stay with me till the end of this video. So let's get a calculator and dive in into this video. Okay, so now the first thing you have to do, which I only recommend is to clear your calculator. Now the essence of clearing the calculator is to avoid unnecessary error so that it will not interfere with whatever current or present calculation you want to do. Because having known that to clear this calculator, unlike the white Casio calculator, the FS and our ES calculator, the white one, to clear this one, this black one, what all you have to do is to press shift then button 9. Now you put the instruction, you want to clear all. So we press option 3, which is initialize all. You press 3, then for the instruction, it says you press record to for yes, you press record to then you have to press a secure equal to again. So I let's press record to again. Okay, so right now we have cleared the calculator. Now, what clearing does is to put your calculator in default mode. Very, very important. So, having done this, we are now in a good position to solve all of these questions. Now, let's begin with question one. The question one says evaluate the limit x tending to zero. Now, the first thing you have to Okay, the second thing you have to do after clearing rather is to work with a constant I make use of often. So I have practiced with this constant for a long time and I have not found error with it. It has not disappointed me. Even at, uh, at its slightest moment. So the constant works perfectly. So ensure you work with this constant I'm going to Practice with in this video to show you the tricks or the hack or technique you'll be using. Okay, so now this is a constant. We are going to add a constant to this value. The limit is tending to x is tending to zero. So what you do is press zero plus zero point zero zero one. So this is a constant. The constant is zero point zero zero one. So because the limit is tending to zero, and the it was tending to two, all we could have done here is the two plus zero point zero zero. But since it's tending to zero, we will make use of zero. Zero plus zero point zero zero one. Very, very important, guys. So having done this, let's press record and see the value. Then this is the value. So you store this number. Very, very important, guys. Now look at how you store a number in this particular calculator, unlike in the y has the fs and our es if it we have to be the white one to start a number in the white one what you do is to press shift then this button store sto then press the alphabet x but in this one you, you don't have to press shift if if you press shift and this store it will not work so to start this, this value just press this store First, don't go and press shift, only press the store. If you look at this calculator closely, STO, there you will see a call on top of it. So you press the button, then press the alphabet. You want to store it, I want to store it as X. So you press X. So once you do it, indicate here that answer has been stored one as X. Remember, don't press shift before pressing store, just press store first and then press the X. Two, two buttons you have to press, not like the white one, you press three buttons, but this one just two buttons, store and X. Okay, so having known this, let's go ahead and solve this question now. Press AC key so that it will wipe out. Let's impute these values exactly as it is appearing here. So it's in fraction, you make use of this button, this fraction button. So just impute everything exactly as it is appearing. A question so the, the numerator starting with a radical a square root so we press now to bring that the exit is stored the same thing with what you will press in the 
y cancel your fs and our es plus calculator you press alpha first then the, the alphabet this button the x to come out then plus so you have two okay so remember this thing is minus you have to give space and to give space make use of this uh key this y key you press it once then put minus is a minus then i have another radical there you play this radical then two we have two okay then over we have x to bring out the express alpha and word x it's as simple as that guys so having done this now let's press equal to and check what we are going to have as the answer it's very very simple guys so you press equal to now okay we have 0 0.35 0.35 so option a says one no you know the answer option b zero you know the answer option c infinity is not the answer the answer has to be option d so let's convert this fraction into a decimal number so let's check option d let's verify it let's wipe out it. remember we have 0 0.35 here so let's verify this use this fraction this radical root two over four pre equal to so now to convert this partial into a decimal you press sd it's as simple as that guys exactly so this is the answer this was what we got when we simplify this so guys this is the answer option d okay so let's solve question two hope you are Understand what I'm explaining here. Yes, so a question two. Now you sure you stay between the end of this video. So having done that, let's check question two. The same principle or method or technique. So having stored uh, 0 0.0012 to zero. In this time I want now we have to clear the calculator because this question two x is turning to 16. So we have to clear it so that we remove or wipe out the previous number installed then now to clear hope by now you have known how to clear you press shift button 9 for the instruction initialize all press record to then press record again so now let's store 16 plus remember this constant guys very very important don't ever forget it 16 plus 0 0.001 then press record to Okay, so let's store this value. Remember to store, don't press shift first. Just two buttons you have to press, which are uh, this just press store and the alphabet X. This is the X alphabet in this button. So once you do it, it will indicate here that X has been stored at this value. Okay, we are good to go. Now let's impute the question. So we have X square alpha X square okay minus two five six two five six all over so we have x alpha x minus four square so guys that's what we have there let's wait quarter and see what we have as our answer okay so the value is in fashion let's convert it into a decimal sd so 32 so the answer here is what 32 guys it's as simple as that so there's something interesting for this video if you are new to the channel show you the subscribe button for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what i learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions ask feel free to be a question in the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response thanks for watching i will see you in my subsequent video